Hi everyone, this is attorney Ivan Agnin. What can be included in my E2 investment amount? What I could say is that, I mean, you can easily include business expenses in your E2 investment. So, but of course, what's going to happen is that you have to understand that you want to be able to show that initial startup cost of your business and operation of your business going to be the actually part of your E2 investments and, and when you make the investment so those are the parts you're going to be able to show that those expenses are the one are being made for the investment and where you're going to be able to claim that as the E2 investment and such as we could say even legal fees, lease payments, equipment, furniture, website setup, stuff, inventory, marketing and any other you know special needed expenses that you could show you'll be able to show SAE to investment uh, that you have been actually invested your money into. So it's not only that where you say, all right, I have a two investment, I invest $100,000. That's not actually investment until you start actually using the money on business expenses to show that you are actually eligible to get the E2 visa. That will be the part that I could say that you have to make sure that you are you know, doing it. So it's not like, you know, you don't tell the immigration or the consulates, well, I just rent a house for me, I bought furniture for my apartment, and I use the money that I brought it for the business. So those are my investments. So they are not going to be considered investment if they're not being used for the business purposes.